What's going on, everyone? So the Lakers' main priority is still DeJounte Murray. They are patiently waiting, trying to figure out how can they land DeJounte Murray. Lakers are going to need to find a third team based on countless reports. Uh, they are trying to find that suitor for D'Angelo Russell. Uh, reports have basically centered around D'Angelo Russell, first-round pick, a pick swap. Jalen Huchifino has had talks of being included as like another kind of first round pick because he was a pick in this year's draft is like, hey, we only have so many picks. We can give you a Jalen Huchifino. Other pieces could very well be involved, right? You know, maybe a Maxwell Lewis, a Max Christie. Uh, you never know until everything is done, finalized and finished. Um, everything's just kind of speculation up in the air and negotiations are still going on. There's back and forth. Uh, if there is a third team involved, then that could take other pieces, second round picks or other players, right? The Lakers, if they try to get a third team involved, very likely are going to be looking to try to get pieces from that team also. So maybe it's something where they get a DeJounte Murray and they get like a, a Tyus Jones and a Daniel Gafford or they get a Dorian Finney-Smith and a Royce O'Neal or whatever, right? Point is that there's still a lot of interchangeable parts and there's a lot of different possibilities that could develop on a DeJounte Murray trade, especially if it's a multi-team deal. Could it expand into a four-team deal or something like that where, you know, hey, well, well we would like Jalen Hood Shafino, so can we get in this and maybe we'll take Shafino and then you could take this or whatever. Maybe Atlanta throws in other pieces because they want to trade guys like Clint Capella or whatever. So, We'll see. This could turn out to be some big, uh, just kind of blockbuster trade where several pieces are going back and forth and several teams are involved. Uh, it could get pretty chaotic. But the Lakers are taking the basically foundation package. Uh, so basically the first round pick, the pick swap, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Shafino, taking that and shopping that around to other teams uh, to kind of just gauge and see. Uh, and this was reported by Anthony Irwin. Um, many of you may know him uh, as a Laker reporter. Uh, also, he has a podcast, The Lakers Lounge. Uh, he had this to say uh, in regards to what the Lakers are currently doing. He said, uh, I'm hearing that the Lakers are not moving on from DeJounte Murray talks per se, but are involving pieces of that trade. D'Lo, Jalen Huchifino, 29 pick, etc., uh, in their conversations with teams in ways they weren't before as they look at other options. So, of course, this is basically just the Lakers doing their due diligence. Um, Anthony's saying, you know, hey, look, the Lakers, they still want DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray continues to be priority number one, but they're weighing their options. They want to see what else is out there, what other pieces are out there, right? Lakers are interested in other players. Uh, my guess is that it wouldn't be, they're not going to give up all that stuff to just get one guy back. But if you could get three, four guys back, something along those lines, you know, maybe there's other interchangeable, maybe a Rui Hachimura gets thrown in, whatever, right? There's multiple teams that are currently sellers that have pieces that make a lot of sense for the Lakers. Maybe it's a multi-team deal, right? It's just the Lakers doing their due diligence. And I love seeing that kind of stuff, right? It also puts pressure on Atlanta because it's like, hey, we want to get deals done now. We don't necessarily want to wait till the trade deadline. We don't want to necessarily wait around to see if you guys come around or not. Because look, Atlanta doesn't have to trade DeJounte Murray. Now, I believe that they will, right? Because I just don't think he's going to have more value as time goes on. You can make an argument that he could end up having less value as time goes on. Because as Atlanta continues to be bad, and that carries over into next season, and now maybe DeJounte Murray, because he hasn't been traded, he starts causing a fuss. Or even if he doesn't, right? It's just like, what if the teams like the Lakers end up going in another direction? Now that's one less team that wanted DeJounte Murray, and there's no guarantee that other teams are going to come trying to get DeJounte Murray, so now all of a sudden you're stuck with them. Right? Like It could get a lot worse as time goes on for Atlanta. Originally, when DeJounte Murray became available, there was like seven or eight teams that were reported interested in DeJounte Murray. And now, it kind of seems like it's just the Lakers. right? Like Teams like Miami were incredibly interested. 
They end up going and getting Terry Rozier. The New York Knicks were incredibly interested. They ended up going and getting OG. Right Now, that doesn't mean that they still can't go get uh, DeJounte Murray, but that doesn't seem to be a direction they're going. The Sixers were a team that was linked to DeJounte. They seem to have bowed out, and they're not really interested anymore that they want to look in other directions and try to go get somebody that maybe makes more sense and more of an impact, right? Like, the well is drying up for DeJounte Murray, and they want all these picks and all these assets and stuff like that, which is understandable because they gave up so much for DeJounte, but teams don't care. They're looking at it as like, hey, that's your fault. You took gamble and you lost. Right? You, you, you know, when do you get your money back Right uh, on a gamble? Usually more times than that, when you lose, you lose. At least you're going to get something back. It's better to get back 50% of what you lost than all of it, and it's not working. How long are you going to be willing to hold on to that? So no other team seems to be willing to pony up at the moment besides the Lakers. Now, of course, that could change at any moment, you know, especially like if a team ends up having an injury uh, or, you know, a team just goes, you know what, like, what else are we waiting around for? Like, let's go make a push for DeJounte. Can we just outbid the Lakers, right, and, and not cost us too much? A team like the Knicks, again, like, the Knicks have Fournier's contract. They need to get off of that. They could go and give, like, Fournier, Grimes, McBride, and, not like, two firsts and say, here you go and go get DeJounte Murray. So it's not that it's a complete lock that the Lakers are going to get him. It just... It just seems like an inevitability, kind of. It just seems like all the other teams that were interested aren't really as interested anymore. And the the Atlanta Hawks are trying to play hardball, which makes sense. Again, you if you're Atlanta, you want to wait as long as possible because you 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 never know what tomorrow could bring. And you know the Lakers and their offer necessarily isn't going anywhere, right? It's not like they're going to magically all of a sudden have more. So you know that like, okay, the Lakers aren't going to be able to give up anything more than they can already give up. So we know we could go get that. So let's just remain patient and keep doing that. So what do the Lakers need to do? They need to keep putting that pressure of like, hey, if we find something, we're going to take it. If we find something we like, it's getting done, right? And if you end up stuck with DeJounte Murray, then you end up stuck with DeJounte Murray. you know. Or if we have to work out another deal and now we don't have... Now, now we only have a pick swap, then guess what? Now you're only going to get a pick swap. It was your fault. You should have gotten the deal done when we wanted to. Should have gotten the deal done when it was on the table. Because based on reports, it was about as close to being done as possible, which is concerning because usually when deals kind of get to that like one yard line and fall apart, there's usually a an issue that sometimes never gets resolved. Right? There's usually this difference where it's really hard to get back to that point. But for Atlanta, again, they're probably looking at it as like, what's the rush? Why do we need to do this? And question is, you know, can can Rob Palinka find something that is enticing and maybe use that as leverage? Right? Because look, first off, I trust Rob Palinka wholeheartedly. I fully believe in Rob Palinka, his patience, everything. He's really good about just, you know, staying in the trenches, letting cooler heads prevail, finding the right trade and getting what needs to be done, done. And so I fully believe that he's going to be able to find that. The thing is, though, is like if he can find something that's pretty decent and kind of bring that to Atlanta and go, all right, look, this is the deal. Take it or leave it. If you don't take it, we're going to go do this right now and kind of force Atlanta's hand a little bit. That's something that could be good. And that could be something that kind of, you know, uh, derives from this, but time will tell. I mean, we'll see. Um, look, the Lakers want DeJounte Murray. Atlanta knows that the Lakers want DeJounte Murray. Um, DeJounte Murray again, I get it. Makes sense for now and the future. Uh, I do have the questions about the fit. But if it works out, I mean, the Lakers could be terrifying. Um, you know, you're not going to have to worry about his effort. You're not going to have to worry about his energy. That's one of the things that he's really good about. Plays 100%, 100 miles an hour every time. Um, but, you know, there's just what's going to happen. That That's the big question. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think?
how do you feel? Do you think this is great news? Are you excited for this? Do you think, no, you know, like, Lakers need to just get the DeJounte Murray deal done. You don't want to mess around and, you know, upset them, whatever. However you feel, what your thoughts are, love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Helps me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.